All right, here we go. So it begins, an idiot abroad. Wow. Now, uh, there's a few things to say. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I usually open these reactions by saying the three simple rules of the channel are no blah blah intro, no pausing, some yada yada at the end. That may not happen with an idiot abroad. It's really difficult to... <laughs> the format is just different. Uh, especially knowing what I know now about Carl. Um, there's a lot to say. Um, but I will be trying to cut down the pausing to a minimum at least. Uh, second, I am so, 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 so glad I reacted to all of the XFM episodes before doing this. My heart goes out to the poor, clueless souls who are reacting to this and probably thinking, oh, why is the pilot episode in China? Oh, I bet it's because... Uh, he's going to see the Great Wall of China, right? One of the great wonders of the world. No, <laughs> that's not the reason. <laughs> Knowing Carl, they probably sent him there to see if there's a, a Chinese person who aged well or to see if, like, how hairy their kids are or something. You have no idea, unless you listen to the XFM shows, you have no idea the the abundant amount of things that Carl said about the Chinese it is, I mean, at some point it just has to be labeled, you know, <laughs> offensive. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Ah, uh, well, here we go. An Idiot Abroad, Season 1, Episode 1, China. Lego. The Seven Wonders of the World. Yeah. <laughs> Christ the Redeemer, the Taj Mahal, the Brazil, Great Pyramids, India, Egypt. truly man's greatest achievements. But yeah. there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the perfect term, <laughs> moron. <laughs> he is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, mank, moron, buffoon, idiot. Is that normal? I mean, that's the least offensive thing Ricky has used to describe Carl, to be honest. I've, I've heard so much worse. Oof. The, the terms that he's used to describe Carl, oh my god, in the XFM shows, it's unbelievable. Like, I, I can't believe. This is toned down. This must be toned down for TV. And he's a friend. Oh. We've often described him as being like some kind of real life Homer Simpson. <laughs> Homer is small minded, petty, but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable. Absolutely lovable. It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical uh, little Englander and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Uh, the bollocks cool. are squashed. I just think it would be amazing <laughs> to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, <laughs> nice. other peoples, yeah. and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate yeah. every minute of it for Ricky my own Ricky's. amusement. Yes, that's Ricky. Nothing is Clearly. funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that <laughs> stick, and now I have the mic of Sky behind me. <laughs> this is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done, <laughs> and it's going to be great. Just let me go old. Jesus Christ. That's okay. Jesus. I mean, hold on. <laughs> does does this title? I I wonder what they were thinking when, <laughs> like like they pitched this title to. The, there's there's something off. I, I I I I don't know. You know what? Let's just move on. I don't I don't even want to comment about the title. Yeah. I'm alright. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing today? Just hanging around. Board. You look nervous. You look uneasy. Oh, I am a bit, yeah, it's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and a room full of people who I don't know. Yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. 
you're going to get to know them really well. What, everywhere I go, there's so, a lot coming, are they? Yeah, so well, they've, got to, they've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself and we wouldn't see it on the telly. Right, Carl. I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. <laughs> you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? Well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy, we've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just uh -huh. the way they live. Oh, my God. Already it's, offensive. These people. it's already offensive. They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> to you. I don't to you. What you mean. Everything. Chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> just the slightest thing. The chicken is orange. <laughs> oh you know what I mean? Octopus. I didn't even think of that. Toad. Uh, <laughs> you just wagging that one up. No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? It's quite nice, that. It's nicer than chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad. Yeah. <laughs> it could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Mm. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And yeah. then yeah. Back, he can't get, get toad. toad. So I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, way they write, yeah. the, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone <laughs> testing Calm out down, a bio. Calm down, <laughs> there's, there's no logic to anything that they do. <laughs> There's no logic to anything they do. When you read a book, it's all the other way around, from back to front, instead of from front to back and up and down. And everything that we've done, they've gone right. Hey, hey, they came first, Carl. They're the original. That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first, their civilization being ours by by many, many hundreds of years. But so you're the one who's different, Carl. Right, off you go. See you when you get back. That's it. Oh my god, that must be a really, really long trip. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I got grey, innit? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? Ooh, it's not well. worth having this in HD, is it? Nothing <laughs> looks crisp. Everything's sort of hazy. Like some sort of Kate Bush video or something. <laughs> Can anyone speak English? Does he want to give us a lift? English? Do you want to give us a ride? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he looks like he's having fun. He doesn't. All right. Doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. Um... Nothing, nothing, blank. So I don't know if smiling means smiling here. I mean, if they don't no. understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. I'm sure some will right. smile. Nothing, nothing, I've got nothing then. I don't think I've ever felt this lost. Oh, Even God, Carl. See what I mean here, though, about things not being normal? You know, I get off a plane all sort of oh, aching, nice. that jet lag. I thought, oh, I know, I'll have a massage, that'll be nice. Massage? Hi. I'm never going to get to where <laughs> I'm going, I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> it is nice, though, to be fair. That isn't, that isn't that isn't good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, Ricky would have a field day with his I mean, head. Was he that was a massage? There. I don't know. Well, or was I just being mugged? <laughs> <laughs> well I'm just trying to find the hotel that Ricky and Steve has sorted out for me. Um, I'm not expecting that much, if I'm honest with you. I've got a room, Pilkington. It's compact, isn't it? Yes, it's cosy. Feels Chinesey. Yeah, it's. Those slippers. He just said it feels Chinesey. He's in China. Jeez, Carl. My God, I'm I'm gonna add this to the list of the dumbest things he's ever said. It's it's an ever growing list, to be honest. It feels Chinesey. <laughs> Feels Chinesey. Whatever. It's their mind. Mm -hmm. Quite Chinese, aren't they? Behind the cloth, you have a TV. Any English? No, only Chinese. Okay, thanks. To... I like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. 
I mean, that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not, a, it's not some sort of appetizer, though. <laughs> That's on You know, I said that Chinese always come up with inventions, quite futuristic oh, with their ideas. It's all right, isn't it? Little radio with headlights. Okay. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean, I mean. I mean, oh, the, the whole God. beauty of radio is. God, Carl. Okay, the Chinese. I think they've invented a few more. I think they talked about this actually. I don't remember if it was in the animated version or if it was in the XFM, but it's it's. I remember it's just like, like Ricky said, things like uh, you like they they invented gunpowder or like, you know, like they did, they had this discussion before. Again, he's he's impressed by all of this nonsense. Like they they put a couple of headlights on a radio. That's not the greatest achievement to, to mankind. <laughs> you know, I think they did a little better than this. <sighs> Moving on. You know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean, if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say, I'm out, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm just going to go and have a wander about, I think, because there's nothing else to do. So I might as well, you know, at least try and see a bit of the place, mix with the locals. Um, you know, that's what Ricky and Steve want, isn't it? They want, they want to see how I can handle myself with some foreigners. <laughs> Carl. 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 Yeah. Oh, Carl. Oh, they're not going to. Carl. 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 Not Carla. <laughs> just Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl. Oh, Carl. Oh, that's very Carl. tough for them Carl. to say. Carl. Carl. No. No, no. To be uh, fair no. to them, there's Carl. no vowel between no. those two letters, so that's very Carl. tough to. Carl. Yeah, there should be an O, Carl, Carl. Shashabia. <laughs> Yeah, it smells more Chinesey now, doesn't it? Sort of sweet and sour. <laughs> it's not even me. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Is that dead? Oh, uh, OK. Are they I'm, dead? I'm, I'm not a fan of Chinese they markets, toast? to be honest. So I don't get it. Are ah. they alive in that bag? Oh, no. No. Why are they legging it? They're legging He's it. He's got, like, a Sainsbury's oh. bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in jam and water or something. I mean, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. Yeah, that doesn't look appetising. Well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack, because Ricky and Steve said, you oh. try everything out, you know, do what the locals do. But uh, there's no way I'm eating this stuff. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm with Carl on this one, to be honest. This looks like they've got custard creams on the stick as well at the end. <laughs> you said anything on a stick. Why do you want on a stick? <laughs> it is anything on a stick. I, I just uh, don't understand why they're eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, here, he's a starter. Mm. I didn't know it'd be like this. I didn't think it'd be this mental, really, he's in the eating. food department. Uh, There's a woman over there uh, just tucking in on a uh, bunch of scorpions. Yeah, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg, not a problem. Just just shoving them in the face. Ah, uh, that's She looks that. at it before she puts it in her mouth. Like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? <laughs> I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of them. Ah, uh. her eyes. It's like the donuts to her. She's looking at them. She's going, oh look at that one there. That one looks nice. <laughs> you see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? She gets up in the morning, there's a spider in the bath. What does she do? <laughs> oh, good, I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll eat that now. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't want to see that. Uh, oh, damn it. God. Uh, what sort of egg is that? It's a fetus. Inside an egg. A fetus? I don't want to see that. I don't know why, any. Just for people watching who don't know, he's with us. You know, helping drive the bus and what have you. Oh. He seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Not even waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit and then eat it. I mean, a fetus. Ah. Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. <laughs> but, you know, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. I'm eating these. <laughs> I'm the odd one out. Yeah. 
true. Oh god. I have my name done. This is Carl. Could be that one. I, I, I hope there's not more of the food thing because that's, that's just unbearably disgusting for me. I can't even look at the screen, sorry. I really hope that that's the only segment with food in it because I, I don't want to see that anymore. Carl is absolutely right on this. I don't care if it is offensive or not. Really, some of those things just should not be eaten, please. That way. I don't know. It's one or the other. Could be that way. <laughs> I don't know. Could be anyway. I'm sure if you you know, if you're Chinese and you're watching this, you know if I've got it the right way up. But there you go, that's that says Carl. That I guess we, we guess, Carl. We I don't haven't know. got Susanna gift yet. I could just give her this. <laughs> and say, yeah, Tell him <laughs> He did this. He's he's he did this already with the camera that they gave him. I mean, I mean, this is like a step down from that. To be honest, that's not even as bad as, as the thing where he passed off the camera that he got from his uh, XFM uh, uh, co-workers. I think it was XFM, right? Uh, where where he was about to leave, and they gave him a present that he said he wanted a camera. They all pitched in and got him a camera. Then he passed it on to Suzanne, pretending like he got her the camera, which is just, no, no, Carl, no. And, and this to me is like a step down. It's not even as bad as that, to be honest. Well, I'm here to see the, the Great Wall, aren't I? You know, one of the wonders of the world, but I'm, I'm just not in the mood, honestly. I'm still knackered, I'm still jet lagged, and just just the weirdness of China, that tires you out on its own. It's out there. It's like one o'clock in the morning at home. Oh, I've got a message. <clears throat> Hello Carl mate, it's Stephen here. Um, listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture is oh. fortune telling. Okay. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. All right, enjoy. I think Carl probably believes in that crap. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking you do. kids in? <laughs> what the hell? Is he have amnesia? He believes in ghosts right. and then... Here's my kid. Uh, get it. What's his future going to be like? Because his life is going to be a load of shite anyway, end it, do him a favour. But then it doesn't always work like that, that's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school, I left with a, an E in history. So see if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end of it. Whereas, look, I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job, I'm paying my way in life. I have got a bit of a problem with this. A mate has sent me it of this dumb. I'm not happy about it, really. I sort of think... I'm better off not knowing. If something bad's going to happen, I prefer it just to happen without having a warning. Time, time I was born. A palm pilot, I didn't expect him to be a palm pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Bruce Springsteen is? He's got the same birth date as me. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm concentrating on calculating your future. All right. You have to pay attention to your health because you got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. Is he a doctor? Sort of problem. <laughs> Something to do with your heart, blood vessel. It's weird that because my dad That's had a specific. problem with his heart, and they say it runs in the family. Everybody has a. So is it going to kill me then? 90 percent. 90%. 90%. <laughs> 90%. But maybe we can change it. Although you have some health problem, we're going to do a ceremony for you. But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Okay. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Think, Carl. Think. Plenty. I mean, I mean, the stuff you said to Steve <laughs> on the XFM shows. I mean, pick one. Pick one of the things you said to him. 
you know, and apologize for that, or pick one of the things you said to Suzanne about her hair, and apologize for that, or or that thing he said one time to Ricky's friend in front of his face. Oh God, uh, yeah, this is this is no no. no. You need to write three confessions on the three pieces of paper. All right. God. When I lived in the other flat, there was a fellow who used to live in it called Bruce. Yeah. He used to get his post. Yeah, he said that. I remember that. He said that. It was his old flat. I kept getting posts for him years after he'd moved out. So he's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? Okay. Not the I worst. I'm sure. Okay. I put putty in his hair and he had to have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carbonshaw sure for, for put, putting putty in his hair. Jeez. I worked at this bloke's shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take uh, a Mars bar, Mars bar, Mars bar, Mars bar, there you go, that's a good one. Off I go, that's so every day. Yeah. Seven a week for about two years. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on air. <laughs> it's always been playing on my mind, that. Because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Always thinking of yourself, Carl. This is a healing process. Now, everything's going to be fine. Okay. The other two papers, Not 90% one needs to anymore, be I guess. put on top of a mountain. The other one needs to be put in the sea. It will help you to cleanse your soul. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, just, just give us a second. Just give us a sec. You are kidding me. Is it that this? Room? Okay. Have you seen the things? There's what no is... doors or anything. Yeah. As soon as you open the door, you could just get a full view of someone. I mean, if it was here, it's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here, and at least people come in, and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. <laughs> but it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in. and. I mean, they've made this bit. Why not just finish it off and put a door <laughs> on it? They've done the hard bit. That's probably a good point, actually. A couple of hinges and a door. And there's no toilet paper. Oh, just don't put them there. That's the case. What did they do here? Did they just pull up the pants and walk off? Is that, is that, is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper. It's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do. But it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet I mean, roll first. I mean, hold on. Uh, it's a safe assumption, it's like they stuck him in, in one of the worst places in China. Is that, is that safe to say? Knowing Ricky and Steve, even. I mean, it's got to be something like that. It obviously, then uh, China is humongous. I'm sure there's some really upscale areas, you know. But I'm seeing, I pause the screen, I'm seeing this guy with his, literally his finger up his nose. <laughs> You know, and um, yeah, what a what a what a what a screenshot. Okay, uh, so I'm guessing like they stuck him in like one of the uh, like lower level uh, you know places on purpose to see his reaction being accentuated. I mean, it's weird because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll holders and stuff, it says made in China. Why aren't they fucking using them then? That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house and he's got to go, do I feel like one today? Oh my I might god. Get a bit of a dicky belly, I best get my seat. Everyone who's is walking past knows he's going to have a shit at some point today. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, like how when I go into a public toilet, you like to nip in with a coin and open the door? <laughs> yeah, it's up there. Yeah, well, you couldn't do that here because there's, there's no doors on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> They were filming some stuff like on this street, just with like traffic and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> there were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's that's reassuring. <laughs> Honest to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. It was it was really I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. 
you need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. One's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know what people are watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no door while taking an order for food. Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in, like, about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. <laughs> like, he, yeah, well, I'm, never, I'm never going to order a number two. <laughs> nice. or, or a King Poo chicken. <laughs> Steve just said, get down to the bus depot, oh, um, where there's yeah. loads of coaches and that, which, you know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. Pilkington, Pilkington. You know what I mean? Getting on a bus full of tourists with a fella stood at the front, yapping on, you know, with loads of history facts and well, just tourists. loads of stuff that you're never going to remember. I mean, he doesn't like the Chinese, he doesn't like the tourists, who does he like? Bus, God damn it. English tour? Do you not understand? Licking Steve just said, come here. Sorry, sorry, thanks a lot. Hello. Hey, I came to Changcheng very hot. Mao Zedong said that. Ah, but Mao Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Zhongqi Yizheng, he never went to Changcheng. Ah, this sentence was said. Bit of a pointless exercise, really. Yeah, it's pointless. 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 Yeah, it's
Mm. Literally all of it. We want you to travel the entire length. Oh, that's the nuts. Wall. Is that possible, uh, even? Enjoy it. See ya. What's the point of that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know the yeah, point just, of that. Just a bit annoyed today. Uh, let's just know, piss him I off. I thought I'd obviously. seen the Great Wall of China, which. Being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. It's, it's an all right wall. It's the all right wall of China. <laughs> nice. but, you know, I thought I'd seen it. And then Steve calls up with some bright idea saying, oh, I want you to see more of it. In fact, I want you to see all of it. It's just stupid. Well, you have one new message. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Always be in contact. You're not on holiday. Still got other business to attend to. Okay. You know the rules. Give us a call. Ah. Are you having a laugh? This isn't the Great Wall, is it? You're kidding me. I mean, I like the way there's no tourists and that. Probably so well, far then, away. Why would they be? Yeah, probably so far away by, by, by now. This is the original wall, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Or is it? I, d I don't know. Is it just badly done? <laughs> this is pretty shit, isn't it? <laughs> You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you? The Great Wall. I don't know about that. Would you want to? Uh -huh. Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. <laughs> binoculars! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, the fortune teller told me that you know I had to get rid of one of my sins on a mountain. Oh, there you go. So I might as well do it whilst I'm up here. That was the one about Carl Grimshaw getting put in his hair. Uh, but you know it's worth doing, isn't it? If it means I'm not going to have a heart attack. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Now you got like a seventy-five percent chance. You know? <laughs> well, I've been travelling for three days. Uh, I've walked miles. And let's face it, there's only so much time you can look at anything. And the only reason I've, I've come to this bit of the wall is because Steve said that there's a little village close by and, you know, he knows someone who's going to sort me some dinner out. Uh-oh. Not more food, please. Yeah. 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 You all right? Okay. He's a big lad. <laughs> no, no, Carl. I saw something in Carl's eyes. I swear to God, it's like his mind was thinking if only he was hairy. If only this big lad was also hairy, then it would be perfect. Oh, God, Carl, no. I could see it in your eyes, Carl. Um, <sighs> just, just, a, just a little, little bit. A little bit of... Not, not big. Oh, full. Okay, that, that, that wasn't clear yeah, to me, and I speak people. English. God damn I, mean, it. I can tell that, just uh, even though I can't speak their language and stuff. Uh, got some food for me. It's nice, but it's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like in it because I can't. You know, you can have, you can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? I can't sort of make a lie up. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> What is that? Oh no, no, not something live. Right, forget oh, it. Oh, something's moving. Forget it. It's fucking hell, they're massive toads. Oh, it's yeah, it's toads in a carrier bag. Oh, I looked at the wrong time. There's a chicken right I didn't there. Know what I looked, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. At least, at least and get I the heard chicken. like. Poof, 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 so I'm guessing. The toad wasn't winning. <laughs> I've been told it tastes like chicken, so I should just eat it and think, yeah, it's chicken, it's chicken. It's just nice chicken. No. Why did she have to cave its head in out here? Why couldn't she just do it inside somewhere oh, and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll look in a minute. <laughs> well, if they knew we were coming, couldn't they have just got something normal? Yeah, see. Why didn't you say to them, no, look, is it all right if we bring Carl around? Cook him something. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Do you like toad? Just you, surely. I mean, I know you don't know me that well, but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what? I'd love a bit of toad. I've never said that to you. You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, ah, oh, he's not a fan of that. He's not, he doesn't like it. They're waving me over. It's, clear, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad's, bit of toad's head there. Oh, look at uh, this. Yeah. 
Chicken, chicken. <laughs> just a little bit, because I'm not very good with these. He's better than me. Ah. That just looks like noodles. Okay. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Lots of that. Okay. He's in it, haven't he? Oh. No, I love it. Oh. Love it. Mm. Oh, just a... Just chewing. I think the baby's choking. <laughs> <laughs> Eating toad was weird. Um, I, think I had a little bit of toad. Oh, oh no. How do you know? Like a toad Like a chicken. No, Just chicken. This woman was forcing it to me. She was saying, oh, eat it, eat mm. it. Uh. Oh, not fun. Every time I swallowed it, it was coming back up. It was like it was still alive and the legs were still <laughs> kicking itself out of the head. Jeez. Right, no more. What's he making then? Not a toilet door, I know that much. Hello? What, what are you making? What is this? Okay, this... Coffee. Oh, it's a coffee. Coffee. Is this for someone local? It's for a young one. What? <clears throat> this lady here. It's for this lady? Oh. She looks pretty healthy. Uh. It's better to make it now because when you're young, you prepare those things. When you're old, you won't be able to organise this. Doesn't it depress you seeing this every day when you leave your house? Not the way it looks. I think it's a nice looking coffin, as coffins go. But I don't want to be reminded that I'm going to die. Not every day. I'm not scared of death. I'm not worried about it. All right. Maybe you can help me sending the coffin. <laughs> I mean, if you spent your life eating what they're eating, you probably be, wouldn't be afraid of anything, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> well, I mean, my flat is big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space. So I'd have to have a parking permit for this. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it, because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s, it's a nice little project, isn't it? She's got an allotment. This is probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for, and you need something to do to keep you going. If you haven't got any little projects, that's when you die. So, in a way, it's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished, I'll have to sort that out. <laughs> there's not that much else around here, is there, to keep your mind busy? Yes, he's gone off now, he's having his lunch. He left me here doing this. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some Kung Fu, my friend. Kung Fu. Okay, yeah? that, that sounds... Enjoy that it. sounds entertaining, actually. Kung Fu? Yeah. Oh, what's he Kung Fu for? Oh, come on! You've never, you've never seen like... like uh, forget it, Carl. Forget it. <laughs> oh, wow. Violent, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Whoa. It's pretty impressive the way everyone's remembered the kit. It was never like this for me at school. Mm. About 25 minutes was just spent with all the kids trying to find a pair of shorts out of lost property. So <laughs> no one ever remembered to bring the kit. So it was more like a Trini and Susanna than a PE lesson. We'd all be sort of going, Are these your type? Do you want to wear these? I'll wear them. Just it wasn't taken seriously. The PE teacher wasn't a proper PE teacher. He did geography when he wasn't doing PE. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why we have a load of fat kids. Leo, how are you? 
Mm. Welcome to Shaolin. Mm. And where the original Kung Fu coming from? And you were going to see the Kung Fu training. Yeah. This is the metal. All right. And they were going to put another throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little ah, touch. Jeez. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you will have oh. a very big shock on yeah, the body. Ah, jeez. Oh, Okay. What? Uh, oh my god. It's got okay, okay that, that's pretty impressive. Though, so the, though, though to be fair, it's probably something Ricky did do at some point to Carl's head. Yeah, outside <laughs> hotel. About sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m. Okay. Four in the morning. Are you having a laugh? Four in the morning. Is he having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? You know, I've been walking the wall for the last few days, you know, aching all over, and now he wants me to get up at four in the morning to do some Kung Fu. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? He just went. We shall see him. Uh, yeah, careful. Careful, Carl. Uh, Ow! I... Ow! Okay, he's doing it really hard. I don't think you're going to be able to... Where did he hit it? He hit it there, didn't he? Don't do it, Carl. Ow! Oh. oh, stop doing that! <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> that sound! <laughs> what a sound! Stop like, it's like, like an echoey sound, like there's nothing there. Jeez. Looks like... You are lit. In two minutes, masters. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm joking, was he, when he said he was going to come round at four? He was just having, having a bit of fun with me. A nice start to the day, moon's still out. Somebody must have helped Carl wear that, right? Yeah. The thing is, I don't know what power I've got. Power. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. Really? By accident. Because I don't go about punching people and stuff, so I don't know how hard I can hit. I don't know uh, I might. Really hurting. Carl, this guy can so probably I'm kill just you. A yeah, at the I'm bit, walking correct. down the street, right? Mm. I look at you. I'm going got this way. Yes. Yeah, hang on. You'll stop right, me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. <laughs> so, so I, I'm walking down the street, and mm. I think this fella looks like he's he's got a few quid. Mm. <laughs> and I'd go, I'd go, I'd go. Excuse me, mate. You haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right. Mm. Give us your money. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. What will happen? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to this time. Come on, go. He doesn't know what my health is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Oh, no, you you're problems. not going to be able to do that, Carl. No, 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 no. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Right. Right. What am I doing? Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> okay, Carl, give me a challenge. A sort of challenge. Oh, shit. What's the other challenge? Uh -huh. This glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the, the glass? glass? Yes. Hit is the that balloon. even possible? Yes. Hole in glass. So you can... Hey, hang on a minute. Right. <laughs> One. Two. Oh! Holy hell. Hey. Okay, that's that's crazy. Jesus. That's crazy. I'm with that. You want to have a try? <laughs> Here we go. Quiet, please. <laughs> Quiet, please. Quiet, please. <laughs> that's not going to that's not going to happen, is it? What did we go? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no! Carl! <laughs> oh my god, you poor camera guy! Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not cut out for Kung Fu. I know that much. 
<laughs> oh god, it's got a stink. Oh, I shouldn't uh, should it? Just having a cup of tea. Oh, you look messed up. It looks hungover. <sighs> With all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. Get the socks off. That's how it starts, isn't it? Why do I have this sneaky suspicion? You're having a laugh. This Come is, on, oh, man. yeah, of course, of course, of course. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. See that? Is that normal? Yeah. Yeah. Stay back here. Boy. Oh no, oh, that's, that's, that's hot, actual man. fire. Oh, that's hot, that's hot. Fucking <laughs> hell, what is she doing? What is she doing? God, I've seen massages torture. on the telly. You don't normally have to have a fire extinguisher on standby. <laughs> on <your massage. laughs> what is this doing? Traditional Chinese massage. But what, why? Tell me why though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? Because they like pain. No, it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? What, why is she setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional, it's what they do here, it's a delicacy. What is she doing? When have gloves on fire ever been associated with having a massage? Yeah, I can feel it, I can feel it. I might as well have walked in there. Ah! And been greeted by Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> right, I felt that. Put it out, put it out, please. Put it out. It's not a good sort of combination, that really. <laughs> having something done like that with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, tell her. This leg is is great. Uh -huh. I just want this one doing, then we can go. Ah, uh. <laughs> ah, that's hot now. Maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician. It's a kind of Keep doing magic. Uh. Ends up doing back rubs, and she's come up with an idea with having gloves that are on fire. Uh. Ah. I I scream my head off, didn't I? Because it was, and I'm not messing either for the cameras, because I don't really do that. It really hurt. Fire. It's got to hurt. What was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've travelled miles, haven't I? And this is the end of it, is it? I, thought, I mean, I thought you meant to save the best till last, but what is this? Oh, is that the wall? Bloody hell. What is this thing? Shen, I want Mr. Channel. Uh, fort castle. Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying, right, get your snorkel out. You still haven't seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely isn't you, right. is it? Uh, They've still got Andy Andy working on it, mm. the sounds of things. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a wonder of the world. Mm. Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you've got a fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. It's non-stop. I don't get it though, how come? I mean, that's, this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it, I mean, you've got to take your shoes and socks off, it's not even that deep there, you can just wander around it. <laughs> so what is it protecting? <laughs> <clears throat> it's my last sin. Hmm. That I've got to get rid of. I don't think it's a sin, Carl, but okay. There's an old Chinese proverb by this Mao fella. Mao fella. That says, yeah. A toad in a well only gets to see some of the sky. And if the toad came up, you'd see more of the world. Which, you know, is a bit like me in a way. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not, but he's saying it is. He's saying if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture, it's good for you. But I'd say it isn't. And the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. <laughs> Literally. If you're a toad, I won't get out of any old way. <laughs> you'll grab you and cut your head off and eat you. <laughs> that's, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I heard the word toad, I was like, I knew he's thinking it's food. Oh, God.
Uh, I mean, oof, that, that is quite the bundle of negativity from start to finish. That is Carl. I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm just glad. Well, you know what? That's just the, the, those are just the parts that ended up in the show. I don't know what they left out, to be honest. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's, there are parts where it's like he's just completely too offensive for real life that they gotta just edit that part out. <laughs> oh god! But pretty much, it's it's what I expected. You know, like you put Carl in China. I mean, Carl doesn't even it's, Carl has a hard time adjusting in in like any any place, any place. So to send him to China. Specifically knowing, you know, <laughs> his views on the Chinese and their life. I don't think if, if the point was to let him, like, expand his mind and learn new things and maybe he'll change his point of view about China, well, that didn't work, <laughs> okay? Because that, that, that just cemented his ideas about the Chinese. Now he has, like, actual proof. He's like, yeah, well, you know what? I've been to China. I've seen what they do. I've, they've done this. They eat this. They, 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 you know, they... Phlegm keeps coming out of their mouths when you're with them on the bus. They eat fetuses. They they take a shit right in front of you. They, <laughs> yes. This just made it worse. I think he just gave him ammo. This is more ammunition for Carl, to be honest. <laughs> God. <sighs> And it's so obvious. I'm sure Ricky and Steve are just shoving him in like the worst possible places to go. The, the <laughs> I mean, the kung fu part. At least I would have expected him to be a little bit excited about that. It's kung fu. You haven't seen movies. You haven't seen, you know, like Bruce Lee. You haven't seen anything about kung fu. I mean, you would at least be a little bit intrigued about like, oh, this is where they learn Kung Fu. Let's see what they have. Yeah. <laughs> Even that he didn't want to do. Jeez. Just doesn't want to do anything. Oh, God. Oh, this was glorious. Uh, well. Ah, oh, sorry. I can't forget that moment. When they put the kid, the Chinese kid next to him, and he went, that's a big lad. <laughs> I can't, my mind was just going through all of these things that he said before. I was like, what, what is he thinking? I want to know what else is going on in his mind when he was looking at that kid, you know, the, the big lad. I, I, I want to know what he was thinking. Oh, God. Uh, well, we survived China. <laughs> I, I don't think they can make, I mean, knowing Carl's views, I, I think that is the possibly the, the worst place that they can send him. Maybe I'm wrong. You know? They they have other uh, world wonders. Like, like I don't think he's gonna... Well, India... Mm, no, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, for now... Oh, yeah. Um, my wife keeps telling me to do this, and I keep forgetting. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Yeah, this is something I forgot to do for well over like 90 episodes of the XFM shows. <laughs> so yeah, uh, also you can check those out actually. Uh, uh, XFM shows and the Ricky Gervais show animated version. Plus a few random Carl videos I've already reacted to. Learn English with Ricky Gervais, meet Carl Pilkington, quite a few others. It's all there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens with the next one for now. Bye.